What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to generate your curvature and your ambient occlusion using the normals from a material. Now this is more of a tip for people who know how to use Substance. I'm not going to go through everything. So this is for people who kind of know how to use the software anyway, but this is going to help you sort of take that step forward, especially for uh, speeding up your process if you don't want to make a high poly for every asset. So when you come in to Substance, you usually bake your, you know, mesh, have all these ticked and you usually just click bake. If you do have a high poly, you might apply that too, but this method won't quite work with a high poly. So bake. And you get something like that. Now I have some um, stylized materials, so I would then usually just throw them on. Now I want some normals coming up here. You know, I want there to be more detail. This looks okay. And admittedly, I don't obviously want it selecting the bolts. This. Like this. But, you know, I want some details. So let's hide that quick. I've got smart material. I'm going to get a wood material I've used a couple of times before. Throw that on. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to rotate it. And we we'll get that. Now, you know, I don't want the color we're getting from this. For example, you don't need to necessarily take away the color, but in this case, I don't want the color. So I get that and I'm like, oh yeah, now let's apply this. Oh, well I get the normals, but this still isn't taking any of that information from the normals and applying any edge wear or any ambient occlusion. So what you got to do is let's quickly hide that and just have our sort of normals from our material. Now I'm going to delete one of the duplications because I'm going to white mask it I'm gonna take that off so that basically any part of the asset you don't want the wood on at least in this case I don't want wood there we go now I'm gonna reduplicate it to make those normal stronger or oh, very strong nice I'm gonna go file I'm gonna get export now you can set this up manually so you just export the normals because that's all we want right now all we want to do is export the normal map I have one set up for this right here just normals but if you don't know how to set one up i'm not going to go over it so you can always set a standard one like your unreal pack export that to wherever you want you're going to have all these other maps you don't need right now but you can drag in the new normals you made Bump. now when you drag it your normals into this window you'll get this come up we just want to set this to texture and then set this to uh project you don't really want to set it to shelf because you don't want it to stay there permanently for every project because you'll start piling them up and you won't need them. So there it is. As you can see, I've already got one in there from where I've accidentally uh, put it on shelf instead of current project. Now, if we were to delete these or even hide them, our normals are gone. Throw this over your normal map that you've got applied. Move and it will load up those normals. The reason this is great is because now you can bake map Make sure you untick normals and then rebake. As we see it rebake, you'll see it will start making your ambient occlusion and your curvature around that. So now I want to go to apply our material. It will start using those normals to generate our curvature and generate our ambient occlusion. Then I could go crazy and start editing our you know material to really bring those out. If this isn't too prominent in yours, you may just need to come into your curvature or your ambient occlusion and basically adjust these. I've got mine maxed out, but they start about here. So if I were to bake that, you'll see that didn't pick up much of the edges at all. So yeah, just make sure you find the sweet spot of what you want. Generate. And there we go. You can do similar stuff with obviously other parts. If I wanted a bumpy metal and I had a bumpy metal material that had nice normals, I could do the same thing and then obviously apply another material to it. I've got a metal one in here. Start this metal. Black mask it. Select the areas we want. In this case, I haven't baked normals for our little nails, but if you did, you'd have the same sort of procedure. And there we go. That's how you use sort of the normal maps from a material 
take those normal maps out and then bake from the normal maps your curvature and your amber depletion. I hope this helps some people. Again, it was more of a tip. So for those of you who don't know how to use substance, this may have not been too clear, but for those of you who have, you should be able to take this tip and maybe even improve some of your workflows. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.